uh, it runs at about 700 degrees, so it's a very, very. And you said oven. dry maple. Is that what you're like? What well, you're burning? Hard, hardwood. So hardwood. Yeah. You have yeah. to use hardwood. So. Uh, typically, we're getting maple, and we, we keep a big stockpile over. I know. I mean, the, in the warehouse the, there, the I, you store. just see the whole wall full of it too, right? So it's nicely dry, yeah. and, and we just keep cycling. So it's a beautiful addition to the restaurant. So we can truly say to everybody that they're getting, without a doubt, okay. the real authentic experience and the real authentic pizza. Well, I have a very fussy friend, Freddie Freddie De Gasperis Jr., and uh, he loves his pizza. And he tells me that it's just like being in Naples. Ah, there so, you go. So, so that is the that I, is the I, highest compliment right I, there. I, and, and the Nona's up in Woodbridge. The Nona's. They, they, they love our pizza <laughs> and they love our pasta, and that's a very good barometer. Yeah, and yeah. your ravioli is uh, is renowned. They're, yeah, Nona McCune's ravioli. That's that's, pretty, ma that's Mama. That's pretty funny. Yeah, that's yeah. That's Nona pretty, McCune. There, there are no go. Nonas in Scotland. No, right? I know. <laughs> But you are, you become a member of truly the Italian community. I think I've been adopted. You've been adopted. I'm going to be Italian in my next life, is my, is I my, love it. my hope. So the next thing we're going to do is we're actually going to go across the street and we're going to go check out your incredible grocery store. But I want to remind everybody, let's tell them about the restaurants because it's not just your Fabricat shops at John Mills, you also have others. So... Well, I have one in Yorkville. Right. Uh, so they're redoing Yorkville right now, so we're going to have a new promenade and walkway. Fantastic. And it's going to be really beautiful. Uh, North 44 is my original Which restaurant. Is a great, yeah. On Young Street North. And I have Bymark uh, right across from my new, re my, my new store in the uh, TD Center. Fantastic locations, yeah. everybody. Yeah, and so, I, I, built, I built Fabrica right across from the store that it would create this synergy between the store and the restaurant. Come for brunch on Saturday and Sunday, go shopping. Uh, so you can literally come here, shop, you can do it all. You can get your groceries, you can have a great meal, and on top of that, go spend some money. That's what people do. Love it. I grab you here and I grab yeah. you there. Right? <laughs> yeah, but see, in a nice way. In a very nice way, but you, again, you had that foresight you knew that there was an opportunity because a lot of people would not be thinking about opening a grocery store against the other big boys and girls right well, there's I a lot of options out I there I think the big boys have their challenges that they're they're stuck in their own gear yeah and they have big big operations to manage and it's very hard to turn them around and and change their character so for me it's all about being a chef being proprietary with prepared food and adding an edited grocery element yeah. that makes it convenient for people so before we head over there what are you in terms of when we say Mark McEwen what are you synonymous for? So when we say your name, what do you think you're most known for? Quality. Yeah. Quality. Exceptional like, quality. Yeah, like thoughtful story. Uh, not the most avant-garde, not the craziest, but I'm, I'm very consistent and it's all about doing a good job. And I'm going to add one more for you. Nice guy. Wow, you're sweet. You're very sweet. Let's head over. Pleasure. Mark, not many people can say they have their own grocery store, and no. this is it. So, my concept of a grocery store, and this was pretty controversial when I started, is for you to walk into a chef's store, which is all prepared food. Typically, when you walk into a grocery store, you walk into produce. That's correct. And when I built this, every grocer in the city shook his head and criticized me, thinking, What did you do? What a silly thing to do. And now all of a sudden, everybody is doing exactly this. So they're copying you. Which is the highest form of flattery. It is the highest so we, form we of We make everything in this section, from, from sushi made by hand right on site. Everything on our hot counter is made upstairs and brought down. Everything in our case is made here. Our curry bar. Oh, wow. Our salad bar. Here, these are all grab-and-go items where you can just come in, grab your lunch, and, and, and take off. Fish counter, meat counter. Uh, artisan cheese and deli, uh, pastry, I have a whole bunch of artisan pastry chefs that make me product that is unique to the store. Um, so it's all about fresh food, real food, and then it's about convenient edited grocery. Yeah. One problem I've always had with big grocery stores is the endless aisles. You're just I, going up and I down. I get very confused, Yeah. Uh, to the point that I don't even want to shop anymore. Right. So what we did is we took, instead of having 1,400 different pastas, I have five dried pastas, right. perfect at different price ranges. Olive oils, vinegars, uh, different salts, chocolates. So all those basic items um, are in the grocery aisle, backed up by restaurant quality prepared food. I love it. And you even have an area where we can sit. I mean, look yeah. at that. You can shop and actually, I mean, usually you're tired, but you want this to be a pleasing experience. Because you're right, those typical grocery stores are up and down the aisles. It's exhausting. But here, oh, you're want, making an experience. I want people to interact with the store. And I love that you can see everybody. And you know what I also love? Because I'm not exactly tall. I'm wearing the heels right now. But 
Usually in grocery stores, I can't see above. It's like these aisles and then they're really high, yeah. just full of product. But here, I can actually see. I mean, it's an experience. It's visual. It's visually yeah, it's, stimulating. It's, How's that? It's, it's wide open and it, and it keeps moving all the time. Right. Hey everybody, I have a fantastic book here. Mark McEwen's Rustic Italian. Great Italian recipes made easy for home. Right up my alley. Now, you can get a chance to win one of these. All you have to do is visit our Facebook page, Real Estate Talk Show. We want you to share one of your favorite recipes and make sure to use the hashtag McEwen Foods. So really easy again to get one of these fantastic books. You want to make sure, visit Real Estate Talk Show on Facebook, use the hashtag McEwen Foods and put up your favorite Mark McEwen recipe. Don't go away. We'll be right back with Chef Mark McEwen.